on today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to turn this coffee pod into a double espresso. Let's get started. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably don't know that I have the new Virtua Pop over there, that blue one. Where is it? That blue one right there. Espresso actually sent it over to me for reviewing, um, just for a written review on their website, and then I could do whatever I want with it. And since then, I've been sharing it with my following on Instagram. I did a shorts here on YouTube, but I know not everybody sees the shorts. I don't know how the algorithm is with the shorts, but long story short, I got the new Virtua Pop. And that prompted this video. I shared a long time ago in one of my Nespresso tips videos that you can actually stop the brew early. And so what this machine does, and also your Virtuo Next, they made a feature where if you press the buttons on top a certain way, it'll read these big coffee pots and it'll only brew a double espresso. So that is a very, very nice feature. And since I showed it on Instagram, a lot of you guys had a few questions. Can you do it on the Virtua Plus? Can you do it on the Virtua Next? How do I get it to work on the Virtua Next? How do I do it on the Virtua Plus? Does it taste the same as a double espresso? You know, like is it as concentrated as they say? Because supposedly this feature will create a more concentrated coffee. So first and foremost, the Virtua Pop already has that feature integrated. If you have the Virtual Next, all you have to do is pair your machine to your Nespresso app and it'll do the upgrade for you or the, yeah, the upgrade for you. Someone said it'll do it overnight, but honestly, I think it will do it right away. And the way you'll know is if you press the button twice on the Virtual Pop, it'll turn turquoise. I'm not sure if the Virtual Next has that light color, but it'll do it as well because I've had a few followers tell me that they tried it on the Virtual Next and it works. So yeah, these two machines both connect to your phone. They have that ability. And once you do that thing where you press the button twice, the machine will read this barcode that's on the pod and it'll just brew it as double espresso. It doesn't change to every coffee pod unless you press that sequence, double tap on top in less than two seconds. If you just press it once, it's gonna brew it as a coffee pot. Hope that makes sense. I'm gonna show you guys how it works. And guys, I've tried it. For example, this caramelo, I think that's what it's called, golden caramel. Oh, the caramelo is the original line. To me, it tastes the same as the last, um, what was it, caramel cookie. Um, honestly, I don't taste any difference. I was gonna do a taste test, but I feel like it's been too long <laughs> since they came out and I'm slowly using them anyway. So if you watch me consistently, you kind of get an idea. For the golden caramel, I think it tastes the same as the older one. But if you didn't like these as coffee pods, you can use them as double espressos with this machine. And I'm gonna show you guys how it works first with the Virtual Pop. And then I'll show you guys how to get it done with the Virtual Plus without having to reprogram the machine. Cause you could reprogram it, but I'm not personally gonna do that because it's I, I do enjoy the big coffee pods. The point is, if you reprogram it, it's going to do all of them as double espressos. And if you don't want that, just I'll show you guys how to get around that. So let's get started with these. Let's do a double espresso with the golden caramel. We'll do a latte because it's almost iced coffee time. And yeah, let's get started. All right, so with your machine being on, you're going to press the top button two times in less than two seconds. So one, two. And the light on this one will turn turquoise and that's how you know that it's gonna do a double shot latte or a double shot brew. Right, so here is my double shot of a coffee pod and it actually smells really good. I'm gonna just taste test this. Essentially, if your coffee has less water, obviously it's going to be more concentrated. It have, if it has more water, it's going to be more diluted. And I feel like that's why a lot of people don't like coffee capsules because some will say it's too watery. I feel like this, you get a little bit of both worlds. It's good. It tastes like an espresso to me. It's pretty strong. It's good. So with this, you can make a nice latte and I think you guys might like it better than a coffee pot. Now can you imagine 
Hold on. And I absolutely love this feature. Like if you have the Virtual Nex, I kind of hate the machines and the way it opens and closes, but this feature makes it really unique because it automatically does this. Like I said, I'll get back to the Virtual Plus users. Um, but it's nice because a lot of people will have these pods right here, the coffee pods, and they'll say they're too watery. I don't like them. They're not as strong, blah, blah, blah. Now, you can have them as double espresso. Imagine Ice Forte, which is a little bit of a stronger roast than Ice Legero. Imagine this one as a double espresso. Imagine Melosio as a double espresso. Mexico, double espresso. So good. The coffee pods with this feature, for example, it'll only go down to a double espresso. If you want a single espresso, you would have to put in a double espresso capsule and then it'll go down to a single. Does that make sense? So for example, if you just want one espresso shot latte, then you can use, for example, this one's a double espresso, Ice Legero, and it'll make it a single with that feature by pressing the top button twice. So hopefully that makes sense. Coffee pod goes to a double, double goes to a single, and a single will go to a ristretto, which is amazing. <laughs> but I tap, I don't really like ristrettos. I, I need either a single or a double. I just, Stay away from ristrettos, but if you like ristrettos, there's an option for that. Okay, let's do an ice latte. We got my cup right here. A lot of ice, actually. I've also been liking the cashew milk. It's not as creamy as oat milk, but it's less sugar, and it just it doesn't taste bad. I like it. So here's a double shot. And here is, I like the coffee all went on the other side. Let's mix it. I didn't put any syrup on this just because I just want to try it without the syrup. Again, this is golden caramel double espresso latte. It's so good without the syrup. So honestly, whatever syrup, I feel like this capsule is more of like a neutral taste. I'll use the word cereal. I feel like that cereal note goes with pretty much any flavor but it's good without anything so you would never be able to do this with the whole entire pot it would taste watery but this this i can do so good all right i have an old vanilla custard pie i'm going to show you guys how you can do this with the virtual plus like i said if you have the next you can do something similar as long as you connect your next to your phone's nespresso app and then it'll upgrade it for you for the virtual plus you need to understand the machine isn't doing anything special like it's not brewing any differently other than just making a shorter brew i hope that makes sense so with the virtual plus what you can do without reprogramming if you want to reprogram all your coffee pods you absolutely hate all of your coffee pods and you want them all to be double espressos then there is a way just go to your manual and you can change the the brew amount, there's a section. I can't really go into that, but there, if you have your manual, and I'm sure there's like videos online on how to do that, but I'm just gonna show you if you for some reason just randomly want a double espresso today, but you don't wanna reprogram all of them, I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so we have our virtual plus right here. What I'm gonna do is open up the machine. This is important. I'm using the same size um, espresso thing that we used for this one. I'm gonna put this right here and then this is gonna go in there close the machine all you gotta do is you're gonna press the top button and once this starts to fill up to the very top i think you guys saw how full this got pretty much to the very top once it's a full i would stop it like sh just short of the, the rim because it doesn't turn off right away i'll show you so we're gonna press the top button if you notice i stopped it like right where once it passed like a little bit above the 70 mark hope that makes sense hold on okay so i stopped it like right above the 70 mark like right around here because it still keeps going but this is literally a double espresso from nespresso using their coffee capsules so i'm gonna try it i'm gonna make it into a, a latte and see how it tastes all right we're doing the same milk Actually, let me just try it without milk first. This is so good. Oh my God, I think I like this one better than the golden caramel one. Enough flavor. I can already tell this is not going to lose the flavor. 
once you add ice and milk to it. Yum. So good. And there's no syrup in these. They taste really good. So hopefully that all made sense. Again, you can do it with Rituo Pop, Rituo Next, just by doing that sequence twice on top in less than two seconds. But if you have the Rituo Plus and without reprogramming it, I don't want to show that because I don't want to reprogram my machine and mess, a, <laughs> mess with it. But without reprogram it, just stop the brew to where you want it. And usually you saw, I'm going to have this one linked in my Amazon because this is the one that I use for Rituo Pop and it stops like right at the tippy top. So as long as you have this and then stop it once you kind of see that it's going to start filling up, then you stop your Rituo Plus by pressing the button. You can do the same thing with a ristretto. The capsules will have, for example, a single espresso should be about 1.35 ounces. So just if you have a scale, you can always measure your brew as it's coming out. But that's just the way I would do it. Just a visual with a little measuring espresso cup. And then just a little quick mini update review on the machine. I've been kind of reviewing it on Instagram, kind of. But I like it. The only thing, like I said, is I don't like how it opens and closes. I know it saves money to Nespresso, but I feel like they already had it with the Virtual Plus. Usually companies like to upgrade their features, not downgrade. If you have hand pain, it's gonna be really tough to open and close it because I have a hard time sometimes and I have carpal tunnel. And if it's really flared up, it hurts. The good thing is that, like the Virtual Next, it brews altos. And someone said it brews pour overs, but I'm not sure on that one just yet. But it does brew altos, which is nice. So if you guys like those big, 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 big cup of, <laughs> big, big cups of coffee, then that's something to look into because the Virtual Plus won't do that. And they're only exclusive to the Next and the Pop. And just with continuous use, I'm just hoping that it doesn't break down like the Virtual Next. That one would leak through the bottom. And then eventually I got a new machine, which is the Virtual Plus. I still love my baby, the Virtual Plus. It's really nice, just open and close. Lux, love it. If you are limited on space, even like cabinet height and stuff like that, the Virtual Plus is tiny. Like you could see it next to my, in my cities, the original line machine, and it's pretty small, like it's small. And the water tank is small too. Some of you guys mentioned that it might be like too small because you like to have the big water tanks. But again, if it's like a small space that you have and you want to have an espresso but you have always thought the ones that currently have are big this one's tiny and that's what they're marketing it as is like a, just a, the perfect machine for small spaces that does it all like it really does it all so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching if you have any questions in regards to these features that i showed you let me know and i'll try to answer them as good as i can so yeah leave them in the comments and i will get back to you guys as soon as i can that is it i'll see you guys in my next video bye